this new album Counterpart by myself, uh, Sean Foran and Stuart McCallum, the wonderful guitarist. It's a duo album uh, with material written by, by me and Stuart and it's called Counterpart which well, it means one person resembling another in a different place or situation which is kind of a good description of Stuart and Stuart and myself you know we live these parallel musical existences on different sides of the world and this project was a really really nice way to, to bring our music together and, and record a, a whole bunch of material uh, together uh, in a totally different way to what we had done before. We played together at a sound check the first time that we played together just kind of just guitar and piano just noodling around through some ideas and it can just tell straight away that there was just this instant connection between us um, so that's why we're making this record I guess because it felt so natural and that's how it feels in the studio. We met up at the studio in Manchester and really had no plan as to what we were going to do. I flew over from Australia and I had a few songs in mind and I think Stuart had a few as well and we just uh, we arrived at the studio and laid them out and had a, had a talk about what we we're going to play. Most of the recordings are, are the you know, second time we, we played the song together and they're really fresh. And after that we, we left the session after a few days and, and let it sit for a while before we, we talked again about what direction to take the music. We've done two of Sean's tracks so far and uh, now it's my turn to give him a track that he doesn't know and watch him weep as he tries to play it. He probably won't, he's very good. Six months later, Stuart suggested adding some more parts and some more layers to the music, uh, which for me is something pretty different to the way I usually approach recording with, with my group Trichotomy. Uh, and it was it was really great. I mean, it took the, the songs in a totally new direction, and so Stuart added a whole load of guitar parts. I added extra synthesizer and keyboards and, and piano bits and then we brought in some wonderful session musicians from both Australia and the UK to add drums and bass to various tracks and so it really transformed this music from being this this beautiful kind of duo uh, style performance to a quite a lush you know, soundscape of uh, different different instruments. Should we just have a little minute? Yeah. A little minute before we do the seven because this yeah. will be tricky for me. Tricky for me, I've never played before, I've only written it. Right. The music on the album is quite textural and, and really melodic and, and so much of the songs uh, have a lot of depth for both the piano and the guitar parts and, and a few of them have, uh, you know, Stuart's recorded before and I've recorded them in different, different ensembles but they have a, a completely new way of, of being played in this, in this project and I find it uh, really, really interesting to, to hear them in this new light. Give it a try, see what it sounds like. Yes, as composers, producers, whatever you want to call it, we're kind of thinking, you know, how can these instruments provide kind of rhythmical direction, I suppose, you know, and momentum. That, um, and it's happening quite naturally, I suppose, because, um, you know, sometimes the acoustic guitar is kind of fulfilling a lot of that, kind of, you can make it sound a bit like a ride cymbal, as it would be in a jazz, or, you know, more kind of folk orientated stuff where they're used to playing without drummers. Um, and then Sean's, uh, you know, he can play chords in a way that's got rhythmic motion in it, or he can, you know, hit inside the piano and give it some kind of percussive elements in that respect. So there's lots of ways that we can explore that. Recording with Stuart. I think he, he kind of, in a strange way, really complements the way I play and, and the way I write. Uh, so I'm able to kind of to, to play these ideas on the piano and he can kind of finish them on the guitar and, and being you know, two chordal instruments, there's a lot, of, a lot of space for me to sit back and play more bass parts or more upper register and move away from, from playing dense chords a lot of the time. Uh, plus it gives me the opportunity to play more with, with, with sound and, and use effects on the piano and the roads and, and do some different things to what I would do in, in other playing situations. Ah, four, four, sorry, I thought you said five. Four or five.
Four. Four. One, two, three. Diggy, 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 and the left hand kind of a. So maybe, uh, maybe straighter than that. So you're kind of doing it in like a nine eight. So yeah. do 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 do. Stuart and I first met when we were on the same record label, a British record label, and I, someone had given me his album Distilled, which I, I listened to a bunch of times and really, I uh, really loved the writing and, and the kind of sounds that he was getting out of his guitar and just the whole kind of scope of the work. I was, I was quite enthralled by the music. So I got in touch with Stuart and, and suggested he guest on some of the Trichotomy shows in the UK, which he did. Uh, and they, they were a lot of fun and from that we kind of just kept in touch and and then planned to get together to do some some recording I guess we've come into this with like um, kind of pretty well structured ideas but then um, they're just on a piece of paper so what we're trying to do is make them into a nice piece of music that has shape and you know dynamic variety and uh, sections that seem to have contrast and uh, but then work well together as a piece of music I guess we're using all of our strengths in that department, so Sean's very, uh, very, very good at just nailing things straight away and just getting that kind of stuff together. Um, I'm good at, you know, kind of the overall, trying to look at more of an overall picture of things. This project was a really good chance for me to play a bunch of different keyboard instruments. A lot of the music I play in the group Trichotomy is mostly acoustic piano. So on this album, I'm playing Fender Rhodes quite a lot, acoustic piano, there's some synthesizer, and, and that was really fun just to think about the different parts that I could play you know, in the music from bass lines to Rhodes chords, arpeggiated piano parts and other affected piano layers. And so th the result was to try and create this really dense texture that, that it kind of change and, and and slowly manipulate and, and move with the music and uh, it's very different to the way I usually record but it was it was really fun to to make the music. Mm -hmm. 